not less. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and bliss. Okay, here. I hope Saint Batiste makes you feel better or something. Okay, here. I hope Saint Batiste makes you feel better or something. A colourful display of cigarettes. Again, I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health. Here you go, mister. Put your hands where I can see them. Show me your hands. This is the pigs. Show me your hands. Right now! Show me your hands! Right now! Scavenged, battery-powered police lights protrude from her back. The flickering light show reveals a gun in her shaking hand. Her hand is trembling some sort of neurodegenerative disease. Madame, please drop the firearm immediately. Failure to comply. Suspect is displaying aggression. Officer, under duress! Officer, under duress! Her eyes bulge with terror. Veins protrude on her forehead. I am the police. Don't move. Don't 
Be careful, detective. Don't do anything that might set her up. The situation looks bad. Calm yourself. Steady your breathing. gear on her back. Medicine or drugs? She thinks she's a police officer. Try treating her like a police officer. A lower ranking police officer. She almost doesn't seem disturbed, but like someone suddenly waking from a deep sleep. Easy. Press her too hard, and she... Too late, Lieutenant. With a swift, poorly coordinated move, the woman slams the megaphone against her lips and teeth. A trickle of blood runs down her chin. She doesn't notice it. Officer compromise! Unlawful impersonation! Pigs on route! And danger will! Okay. She's actually more agitated now. My bad. Officer, I need an assistance! Suspect alert! Get on the ground! Ma'am, please. We want to help you, but you need to lower that weapon. Disturbance reported. Authorized deadly force. Sector, take the shot! Big red key! Big red key! Big red key? That's code for the battering ram. Cock talk. You know this. I don't think she's on drugs. Being off drugs might actually be the problem here. Just disjointed words. Here's the plan. Drop the multi-tool and immediately dart right. The noise will startle her, allowing you to close the distance. Left hand grabs the barrel, right one breaks the wrist. No, that won't be necessary. Look closer. The gun, all three barrels, red and blue light shining through. It's not loaded. My God, I think you're right. What? There's 
is a police issue. Police weapons have bullets. This isn't real. What is this? Police guns always have bullets. What is this? Why did you sell me this? She looks devastated. Grab the gun right now. This might be your only chance. No one ever cares anymore. Why would they cheat me like this? Great gears are grinding to a halt. The machine is powering down. She's all out of jolt. Poor woman. We need to figure out what to do with her now. Nobody's ever around. Nobody ever comes to visit me. Her scratched skin is warm to the touch, but the person inside doesn't even know you're there. She's in a stupor. I've seen this before. God knows for how long. Could be days when they get like this. Honestly, I don't know. Dementia, probably. Dementia and Channel 8 and loneliness. Yeah, looks like a bad case. But the question is what to do with her right now? I don't think there's any need for that. In her current state, and without the gun, she isn't really a threat to anyone. We could let Titus know. This is a perfect problem for the local peacekeepers to handle. They might even know her family. Then we can ask him once we get back to the whirling. But we have to hurry, because it's late and they might have already gone home. But I think we are done here for now. Let's head out. This is done. Please, leave the radio on. Reflex to what? Being left alone? She stands motionless. Just a heap of clothes and flashes now. Maybe if you search her once more, stands slumped. She looks catatonic under her mountain of RCM paraphernalia. Is one of those things a police cap? There were narcotics in there too. You're thinking of taking them? Do. She doesn't even flinch as you reach out and disentangle the familiar looking lieutenant's cap from a mountain of RCM paraphernalia. Oh, is that yours? It's hard to say. It's been so long since you wore yours. It's your hat. You take the fire of Porolidon and the bottle of speed as evidence, obviously. She didn't consume them. She didn't look high. She confiscated them. A little like you are doing now. <clears throat> You're taking those, are you? Listen to him, for once. Thank you. I'm doing this to help you. We need to focus on the case. He's grateful you did this.
Holding the gun feels natural and satisfying. It's like an extension of your arm, the polished wooden handle almost fusing into your palm. It reminds you of the day you first held it, with fear and respect, hoping you don't have to use it in vain. The sun was out in Jamrock. It was so long ago. Sheathe your sidearm, officer. A serious law official, cop by the book, should know to only unholster their service weapon when using it is unavoidable.